you know, I've mentioned a Richard Rohr before, and he's famous for saying sometimes it's three steps forward and two steps backward. And the two steps help inform us as to what the next three steps ought to be. Uh, that's if we rightly understand the two steps back. If we understand them as I made a mistake, I'm bad, I'm terrible, I'm ashamed, well, then we sink ourselves into a hole that is difficult to recover from. One of my clients the other day said, yeah, what if I take three steps forward and I take three steps backward? She said, that's, that's what she described as anxiety and depression. Um, I think... Uh, it was Rasmussen, maybe, who said, uh, try, try to reorder some of that way of thinking. And those three steps back might allow us to figure out uh, even more clearly what we should do for our next step or two. It doesn't always have to be three steps forward. Sometimes we need to take smaller steps to help us understand what's going to happen next. And sometimes Anxiety and depression are tools that we use, which help us wait until we can figure out what the next thing is. They're not always bad. Of course, they don't always feel good, but it does not mean that we're stuck there. We're not stuck in quicksand. Instead, we are uh, taking a break. Did you ever go shopping with your spouse and they're looking around, male or female, and you're not the one shopping they have chairs there and you can just sit and kind of relax. You don't have to fake the shop <laughs> and you don't have to uh, uh, be frustrated with how long it's taking. Instead, you can say, I'm going to take a break. That's what three steps back means. And I'm going to use this as a tool to try to use this to kind of get myself back together again. So the next time you take three steps back and three steps forward and two steps back, Figure out what the next one is going to be. When you take three steps back, allow yourself the time to figure out what you want to do next. Because I think it's in the contemplation, it's in the understanding, it's in the awareness that we get a real opportunity to take some very deliberate steps forward. I'm Kevin O'Connor. Thanks for listening. I will see you next time.